Welcome back. Now we're going to move on to clarinet. But before we move on to clarinet, I want to talk about transitioning from instrument to instrument and what you need to do to stay safe. So whether you are doing all the instruments by yourself in your room, or if you have a small team, two, three, four of you in a room, social distancing in your room and cleaning, is that between every single instrument, you want to wash your hands, just with your gloves on, wash, so that you're not carrying or carrying or recontaminating one thing, uh, one thing to the other from instrument to instrument, whatever you're carrying on your hands or your person. So, again, in your kit, you have that antibacterial soap. So what, um, I mean, I'm asking you to wash in between each one. Now, if you don't have a sink in your room, just wash your hands in, in your antibacterial water, okay? But I have the sink here. I just dripped a little bit from the kit in my hand. I got my sink here and the usual hand washing pro protocol like we've been doing forever these last few months, getting a nice dry skin and everything. And so the 20 second wash, if you get a hole in your gloves, change your gloves. Um, if you run out of gloves, let me know. I can try to get more to you uh, or ask your site if they're passing gloves out, but we'll get more to you. But if you get a hole in your glove, change your gloves out. Um, so antibacterial soap, get yourself all clean, go to the next instrument. Okay, so on the clarinet. So the first thing we, we're going to need um, is to check the clarinet. So we are on step one of the clarinet page. So we have to check the clarinet first. It says caution. So certain things don't like plastic. Even though you're going to be wiping with alcohol and different things like that. So we're going to do a test because I want to wipe the keys off with alcohol. Some plastic doesn't like alcohol. So I just sprayed some alcohol on the Q-tip. I'm grabbing the lower joint and inside the socket I'm going to wipe with alcohol okay and I'm just gonna let it dry for a minute okay so I gotta pull this stuff out anyway it's drying upper and lower joint pull it out set it aside while that's drying I'm gonna attend to my water so I'm taking all the pieces out I'm going to start attending to my water in my case, getting a little ahead of myself, but I'll go ahead and attend to the case. We just did this with the flute. Again, brushing and cleaning, all the accessories are out, don't forget the lid. Again, if you got a vacuum, great, do what you... Can. Again, same thing with the Lysol, lightly on the inside, don't want it sopping wet, okay, outside, and we're not going to wipe it like we did with the flute, we're going to set aside and let it dry while we're working on things. Okay, so yeah, no, if you have that itch, yeah, try to use your shoulder. But anyway, stay back on track here. All right, so we need to make our water. So that was step uh, one was the caution. Step two, take the pieces out, do the vacuuming, doing the spray all, of, all the way. So now we're going to jump to six. Now we're going to make our uh, solution of antibacterial soap and water. So soap and water. I'm using a small pan and I'm going to agitate this a little bit with my hand.
just to kind of mix it up until you can't see the soap in there anymore. And boy, I can feel the soap on the glove. That's the test right there if you put enough in. All of a sudden your hand is really nice and slick in that glove. That's a good thing. Okay, so as in the beginning, I've done my check. So I'm going to come back and it's dry and there's no color change. It didn't get cloudy or milky. So this is a plastic Yamaha, so it's all safe. So what can you put in the water? I listed it on there. If the clarinet is plastic, you can take the mouthpiece into the soapy water. Cap, ligature, barrel, and the belt. Okay, and just agitate them around, let them sit a little bit. Okay, so that is if the clarinet is plastic. If not, and it's a wood clarinet, you'll just put in obviously the mouthpiece, the ligature, and the cap. No barrel or no bell. Okay. Um, at this point, we go to uh, use the foil pan. We made the solution. Uh, where are we at here? I'm trying to trying to keep up with you. Uh, after the mouthpiece is dry, so we're going to do some scrubbing now. Okay. So we got our mouthpiece brush. So we're going to go ahead and grab our mouthpiece and do our typical scrubbing both directions, tip side and barrel side. Okay. Now, this is where having that that bucket earlier this is where having that bucket is handy. Uh, you can have rinse water in the bucket. In this case, since I know I'm going to be doing the woodwinds first and I'm not going to be using that one, I have a full water, so right now I'm going to use it as my rinse water. So make sure you have a little bit of rinse water around. Okay, so set aside, off to the barrel. Okay, so now in the barrel, I'm going to rinse it off. In the barrel, down inside, the grease will build up. So this is where your toothbrush, if the mouthpiece brush didn't get it, this is where your toothbrush will come in handy to get in at an angle and get that built up grease out of there. Okay? And if you are doing these in an assembly line, you may not want to do more than like two, two instruments at a time so that you don't mix the parts up. Just be real careful of that. You get too many parts too, of too many instruments torn apart, then which one goes there? Where? And then that's how we end up with some of our trom trombones like we do with the slides don't match the bell sections and, you know, or head joints and flutes don't match the bodies. So now I'm doing the cap. And then lastly the bell. And the same thing with the bell. The bell has that, that tenon notch where grease can build up. And if you need that toothbrush, which this one does, you get in there and get that out. Okay. Bell. Last thing, ligature. I use the toothbrush on the ligature. I don't waste my time with the with the mouthpiece brush. Toothbrush gets in in everywhere. Okay. So. All right. So in that that much time, 
And if I wasn't talking, it would go even faster. So once you get, get a rhythm going, you get a rhythm going. Okay, so I did all that. All right, so now we did the read the mouthpiece and the toothbrush. After all, all dry, we'll do, uh, it says do a uh, final dry. So you're always drying with your bar towels. Make sure you dry the cork off, all that kind of good stuff. Stick your finger up in the cap. All right. Okay, so that was eight. After a mouthpiece is dry, do final wipe through with spraying alcohol on the cotton uh, cotton ball or use the alcohol prep wipe. Um, so with that step eight, so we scrub the pieces. And after the drying set aside, after mouthpiece, all that kind of stuff, we're going to use that alcohol to do, to do a final on that. And so we'll do alcohol when we do all the body and everything. So using the clarinet pull-through swab, so let's go ahead and grab our pull-through swab. Okay. We're going to do sterosol on the initial first wipe through. So I got it open. Okay, and again, make sure, because the upper joint has the pip, make sure that you pull through. All right, so the pull through swab has sterostal, this is number nine, and swab the insides of the upper and lower joints. For the wood clarinet, you'll swab the bell and all those other parts that you couldn't put in the, in the uh, solution. So this is the sterosol, pull through, and then that's nice and slick, okay, upper and lower joint, so this is number nine, I'm going to give it another, another hit. nice and smooth and you'll see that it gets real clean in there okay so that's nine all right using the clarinet pull through okay take the dry paint brush and lightly brush any of the debris from in between the keys so we're back to this guy like we did on the flute and we're going to do debris especially down around here in the chimneys where the fingers are, and we'll attend to those holes here shortly. So we're getting the initial chunks or debris or anything, especially between the keys. You can work the bristles through. Q-tip with sterosol and you'll clean between the keys and down the chimneys. So I used this one earlier, it's done, we throw it away, it's trash, we get a clean one. Okay, so with the sterosol, or you can use the alcohol because we've done an alcohol check on this. So we're going to clean between all the keys like we did with the flute. And when I get down here to the fingers, I'm going to make sure that I clean the chimneys down and through. Because again, on these edges right here, that's where the, fin that's where the finger jam, that the schmutz, the finger jam, the everything off the, your finger pads end up in those holes. Okay, 
And then while I have the stairsol and everything, I'm going to clean the tenon of any grease that is in the edge here. Yes. All right. I used stairsol on the other one. I'm going to show an example. I'm just I'm using the alcohol on on this one. Okay. So again, going after all that. And yep. Get the octave. Okay. So you clean around all the keys again. That's just one upper joint. Use use both sides of that Q-tip. So here I am back at for the lower joint. Okay, I'm going right for those those chimneys. Get in between. And again, this is stuff we've done, but we may not have had all the tools or time, etc. But we need to be vigilant in the new norm that we are in now. Okay. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. All right. So the last thing, let's see that it says for us to do. So the last few things, excuse me. Uh, did the top key, you got to do the top of the key. So I did in between, down the chimney, now I got to do the top of the key. So uh, this is a cotton ball from earlier. Again, we're not going to use, we're not going to use uh, a previous instrument cotton ball on another instrument. We'll grab another instrument, alcohol. So now we're just, like we did on the flute, the tops of all these keys finger positions and these videos would be just so much better if I could have my my uh, class right now because we could sit here and knock all this stuff out and they'd be a lot funner to watch me and my kids than just my self but we can't do that all right, so we did the top of the keys. All right, do not submerge the upper and lower joint. Okay, don't want to do that. Big no-no. Uh, stair saw all the tenon corks. Uh, so what we did is we stair saw the inside. So what we're going to do is a uh, little cheesecloth. And we're just going to hit those. So stair saw onto the cheesecloth. Um, I guess you could use a bar towel if you wanted to. So just getting those corks all nice. You can see what comes off of them on the cheesecloth. All right, and then uh, so we got uh, that. Uh, use the clarinet handle swab to do the final. Okay, so this was our flute swab, and you can tell the difference. Flute's fatter, clarinet's skinnier. Okay, and just like what we did last time, we're just going to do a final swab through and all that kind of good stuff. And then we got the pip to be careful of. Right there. And then just up to the pip. Okay. So we're all good there. So then the last one we're going to do is we're going to use the swab to just kind of any last drying inside that has sterosol on it. 
and Sterosol still on my cheesecloth. We'll hit the cork here. Okay, so the last thing, let's see, we got water swab, let's see, oh, not water, wire handle, pardon me, swab, we did that. Check for loose pivot screws, so you're going to go through and you're going to do the loose pivot screw check. Uh, take the microfiber, just like with the flute, a lot of this stuff is, is repetitive. You're going to wipe and wipe and dry the body down. Uh, Checking the pivot screws and all that kind of stuff. If you need to know any issues on a repair form, same thing. Again, this will be re repetitive from instrument to instrument. Wipe it all down. One last deal. Okay. And then what we got? Uh, we'll put it inside the case. We'll, we'll dry the case, all that kind of good stuff. Put all your accessories back. And then the absolute last, last kind of thing we need to do is just put a little bit of cork grease back on those tenons. So light swipes and with gloves on, that's all you got to do right there is just, just to wipe. So there's one tenon. I'm keeping my fingers clear. A wipe and a wipe. And a wipe and a wipe. New fresh cork grease on. And then the mouthpiece. A wipe of grease. Get that back on there. Okay. Get the grease off your gloves. Okay. Now. Last and final, bam, alcohol, okay? Your swab has sterosol on it. That's fine. So you just, you just, all I did was wipe the remnants of the dripped alcohol on there. If you want to do one of these and you just go bam and let it dry, that's fine too. I'm just getting rid of, of the, the drippers that are on there. Okay, then reassembly while it's wet and it will evaporate. So you're all back together. All right, so now we're going to get the case. I'm going to feel it's dry. Okay, outside, a couple wet spots still. I'm going to dry, the, dry those wet spots off. So we gave, we gave the case its maximum time with it being wet to kill off anything that was on it by having that Lysol on it. So now we took everything away. If we had a repair form, teacher's name out. And it's good to go. So I'm going to set that aside because we're going to be going to, I believe I have a bass clarinet or a sax out there, we'll see. But um, make sure you're rotating your towels every, every few instruments. You got eight fresh ones here, same with your microfiber, okay? Um, you're going to be cleaning, I think it's two, maybe three days. So if you wanted to take the towels home, and launder them, that's fine. Just make sure they all get back, put back in the kit, pardon me. So Sterosol, I'm just going to get my area. And like I said, if you're doing them by yourself, you're going to be, you know, going through different, different uh, steps with different instruments, knock out like all your, all your flutes in one chunk and that kind of thing. And then make sure that, um, Make sure you're changing cotton balls for everything, for every instrument. 
Q-tips for error, don't, don't reuse from instrument, instrument to instrument to cross-contaminate or do any, anything like that. So there's the clarinet and we'll come up with the next video.